Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video to share a cool app I've been using when you're planning to do some flying. So right now I've been using the UAV Forecast app, which is basically a, an app version of their website for iOS and Android. The website is uh, uavforecast.com or phantomforecast.com. So you can use your GPS location or you can manually enter it in, as you can see from the top here, and uh, you'll get a quick and easy view of all of the information you could use for current weather conditions. Precipitation is obviously an important thing because no one wants to be flying in the pouring rain and any bit of moisture on your drone is not going to be good. But knowing wind speed is probably the biggest thing that's going to affect your ability to control your flight with your drone. Between the stability of your drone, the amount of open space you actually have to fly in and your ability on the controls, as well as how stable your video needs to be sometimes it can be a nice beautiful sunny day but if the winds too high and you're trying to record your flight with some good video some good stable video you're not going to be able to get your shots so generally through experience you're going to find out the wind speeds you're comfortable with and here's the real clever thing with the app is that you can go into the settings here and you can adjust and say okay uh, I don't want winds more than 47 kilometers an hour and as well another handy thing about this is obviously wind can change with the altitude so you can look at you can say okay I know I'm going to be flying we'll say yeah 100 meters so you know roughly 300 feet so that way you actually know the wind not on the ground but up in the air where you're flying as you can see all of the measurements you have uh, max min kind of a go no go uh, status that you can set up yourselves and you can change your units as you want obviously I'm used to metrics so I'll stick with that if the wind speed gets over your set point then it'll go from green to red so I'll just go ahead and edit here the wind speed and we'll say I want max wind at 10 here we go so I'll go back to the conditions and now you can see that it's recommending that it's not good to fly because the wind is above my uh, maximum condition. Obviously there are times that you're gonna want to plan a little bit ahead so you can go into the forecast tab and the free version of the app gives you the next 24 hours of uh, forecasts all for the the area that you're in. The free version of the app shows 24 hours in advance you can upgrade to go to seven days in advance with all of the hourly conditions for $28. So going back to the con conditions page, you can see the sunrise and the sunset. Uh, this can be especially useful if you're trying to shoot during the winter days when uh, there's less sunlight, as well as if you're specifically trying to shoot during the golden hour. That way you can kind of time and plan things out so you'll get the the right lighting. Uh, whenever you're planning to shoot a new spot somewhere maybe you have to travel to it can be a good thing to pre-scout the area to see if there's enough GPS signals. If you're not sure if there's gonna be cell phone signal that's kinda my rule of thumb then you should definitely look and see if you think you're actually gonna get uh, enough GPS signal to be able to navigate properly. With the drone we're taking advantage so many times of the great landscapes that we're just gonna have to go ahead and put up with the times where the weather isn't cooperating and you're gonna have to just you know delay it and shoot again another day anyways that being said UAV forecast app on Android or iOS highly recommend it or you can go to uavforecast.com or phantomforecast.com to check it out all right thanks again happy flying